Revelations chapter number 3 verse number 6 He that hath an ear let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Amen. John is concluding this in this last verse to the letter to the church in Sardis. Amen. The Son of Man is giving him this is the last verse and he's summing it up and he's actually ending it right here. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Amen. He that has an ear. Amen. As we discussed in the previous chapters, he that has an ear, that means everyone is not going to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. And that's why it, it identifies he that has an ear. It knows or God knows that everyone is not going to hear what the Spirit has to say to the churches. You have people that are still going to be proud. You still, have, you still have people that are going to be stubborn. You still have people that are going to yet do it their way. You're going to yet have people that say it really didn't mean that. But that's the reason why he said, He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Plural. Amen. Amen. And as we discussed before in times past, when the scripture says, Hear what the Spirit says, it means that he that has an ear, let him do what the Spirit says unto the churches. Let him obey what the Spirit is saying to the church. Let him follow what the Spirit is saying to the church. Let him humble his mind and humble his heart and humble his attitude. Let him be obedient. Let this warning not go upon vain ears. Let this Warning, don't be something that, that is frivolous and non-meaning. But he that has an ear, let him humble his mind and humble his heart and humble his attitude and hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Because to not hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches is to secure your place in hell. Amen. And we don't want that. We want to obey the Spirit. We want to do what's right. We want to change and we want to do like he told the church of Sardis. Wake up. And that's what we want to do. We want to wake up and do the will of the Father. Amen. God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for all things. We thank you for one more day. We thank you for life, health, strength, happiness, peace, love, and joy. Come in our lives and save and sanctify and fill with the Holy Ghost. Help your people everywhere. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. And God bless you and have a wonderful day.